Okay, so this is how you would uh, save a Wick editor project so that you continue working on it the next time, the next day, whatever. Um, so say this is as much as you got done on day one. What you do is you go up to the save button, hit save, and you can see I'm working on a MacBook, so it just automatically downloads and saves right here. Um, if you're working on a Chromebook, it would be in your files and your downloads. Um, but basically the point is that you have a file now that, as you can see here, a file that is a Wic editor file. So if I were to move, let me move this out of the way so you can see it. So we have a Wic editor file now that ends in .wic. All right, so what happens then is the next day, so you quit Wic Editor, I'm gonna leave, all right, so now we're waking up, it's the next morning, we wanna do Wic Editor again, you go back to Wic Editor, you launch your editor, um, you begin it, let's say we don't have an autosave, all you've gotta do now is find that file, whether it's in your downloads or your files or you saved it to your desktop and you just drag it back on top of the project of your workspace and you've got the file loaded again ready to work all right when you're all done with it then you would go to export and export it as a video and it'll turn it into an mp4 for you but that's when you're all all done if you're just trying to save it to work from day to day to day to day until you complete it you'll want to go over and do that save as a file find the file and you just drag it back on top alright there you go